So I'm Roxanne Medina. I work with the Youth Empowering Strategies Program in Glimmende High School that's located in Humble Park and serves students from Humble Park and um, Westtown communities. So what we do is a peer education program. We work with students to become peer leaders in the community to facilitate in-class sessions on uh, nutrition fitness, teen pregnancy, and violence prevention. And so part of how we got with ARC was because um, we really wanted to develop a nutrition and fitness curriculum. And when we were doing research, we were noticing that there were a lot of curriculums for children and a lot of curriculums for adults, but there was really nothing that was adolescent friendly or even culturally sensitive, you know, to the reasons on why specifically Latinos and African Americans have high rates of diabetes and obesity, um, looking at the foods they eat and just finding a way to not necessarily completely eliminate it from their diet, but to modify it. So we were thinking, well, that's research. How do you get into that? And so um, my boss, who was the co-PI on our research study, Dr. Virginia Bishop, she uh, knew that this was kind of starting the ARC program was, you know, the steering committee was starting and said that we should really be involved. And so we got involved and it was a good way to really help us understand um, even before doing the actual research, like all of the things that come before it, you know, understanding how to develop a question, understanding how to engage the community, um, make them more aware that this is something. So as community people, we know it's a problem, but we um, sometimes it's difficult to find a solution that makes sense within the greater community. So what might work at my high school might not necessarily work at someone else's high school. So that's kind of how we got started in this process. And then through that, we were able to apply for an implementation grant through the SEED program, and we were able to do research. So at that point, we had already begun discussions with like community, other community organizations, parents within the community. Our peer educators were a big part of um, developing, you know, what their problem was. So. Is this a problem and why do you see it? And it was really starting to create like a new generation of researchers that wouldn't have otherwise been a part of this process if it was like just a clinical kind of um, driven research project. Cool. And so... Is that the question? Yeah, no. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's, okay. Just, it's, it's less about you answering a particular question and more about you, we just, that's just getting footage of okay. you talking about the process yeah. and just stuff that we can pick out here and Okay, there. cool. No, um, that's cool so, with me. So, so I'm curious about how you're, had you participated in research before this? I've never been, now I've been like one of those people that they grab at the mall to ask questions and I've done kind of um, like, like advertisement research, but I've never done anything on this level. So I'm, I'm very programmatic delivering service type of person that's been my career track so this when we started in 08 it was completely new I mean I know research was done but I never looked at it from a community based or driven research I always thought it was you know white lab coats doctors you know we're going to give you a pill and we're not going to give you a pill and then we're going to see how that's how I looked at research before I started ARC if you ask me now four years into it, that's definitely not how I look at it anymore. I definitely see it as a, a group process, as a community process, and community being just people that want to be involved. So I don't necessarily mean the Humble Park community, but it's very evident for me, at least with the Northwestern academic people that I've worked with, that it that's part of the community, is who wants to deal with this project and what they feel is important to them. So how, how do you feel... Um, research has, or you're conducting research, or just research in general, has helped the Humboldt Park community in which you work? So specifically, you know, I could talk about what we've seen. I think it's really um, opened our students' eyes that there is a problem even with adolescents in terms of obesity and things that can, as a consequence, can occur like diabetes and high blood pressure. Um, but it was good to have the kids involved in that process so that they can be at almost advocates for their community. So they're not just learning about it and being a part of the research, but then they're going home and talking to their younger siblings, their older siblings, their families, their aunts, their uncles, um, which are very key like informants and players in 
um, a Latino community. I mean, it's not just, you're not talking a nuclear family. You have aunts that are raising kids, you have grandparents. And so they're just making, um, they're advocating for that particular issue. And I don't think that would have been as strong as if we didn't do the research. So because of this process that they were also a part of, they, I mean, they went through the IRB, they did the CBPR 101 training, and we're talking about like 15 to 17 year olds that are going through this and learning this process. Um, we had a focus group with them, like how has this affected you? You know, and a lot of the students said that they are exercising more and that they're getting their families more involved and that their younger siblings, um, didn't really understand it, that they had received the education, but now that they're getting taught this from, you know, their sibling, they understand it a lot more. So um, I see that spreading. I see that becoming something more embedded in the community than prior to when we did it. And that's just on a really small scale within the school. Um, but I definitely see it becoming a lot of organizations are working on that. And some of the organizations have been given seed grants through ARC. So I see it kind of just building upon what, what we initially started. Great. Okay, so two yeah. quick more questions. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. how has how has ARC um, you know added value to the research you're doing? Or how is how has L ARC helped facilitate this work that, that you've been doing? I've definitely been able to network with people more who were doing it. So it's not just a matter of, you know, getting trained, but I'm listening to real life experiences and challenges that people have faced and can look and say, oh yeah, I've, I've had that too. And then listen to how they were able to come up with solutions or maybe um, adapt it to where it wasn't an issue any longer. So that definitely has helped me realize that I'm not the only one um, with problems. And it's allowed me to um, speak on what we've done and have people kind of give their input and make me start to think about questions that I never thought about, you know? So if we worked in Clemente, why wouldn't we work into some grammar schools? Could that still be effective? And just start that open dialogue, because I think that's a big part of learning too, is meeting other people who have done it or are doing it. And that's, I mean, I think that definitely for me has been a huge benefit on being a part of the steering committee and just doing the research in general. Nice. And then one last one. So how, yeah. how do you feel that the perception of Northwestern, if at all, has changed as a result of, you know, partnering with ARC and partnering yeah. with Northwestern and the community in Humboldt Park? Um, I definitely think when I started, Northwestern was just the hospital um, and then the university. There wasn't really, that's what they're there for and that's what they're doing. I think it's definitely changed now. Um, we're very clear on this is our partnership with Northwestern. and They're, you know, really involved. And I think promoting that within the community has changed maybe the perception of it just being such a scary institution, and just a big beast to navigate that I think it's definitely um, changed that perception where other organizations are willing to go to Northwestern and say, this is what we're doing. Would you all be able to um, give input or help, whereas maybe before that wasn't the case. You know, we're gonna work with our little smaller community hospitals because they're in the community. So I definitely think that's changed a lot. 